so we have a few curves up here to test that diff. If I can turn. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel once again. Welcome to a brand new video. Now today you join me in the Golf GTI, that is the Mark 7. And this one is very immaculate. It has a, a couple of modifications to it. And uh, it looks quite interesting and very clean. I think this is the cleanest Mark 7 GTI I've ever seen. It's still like almost new in a way in terms of how fresh it looks and all. So we're just going to have a quick walk around. But really, uh, the thing I want to focus on is the modifications because it has quite a lot of modifications that is aesthetically, not mechanically. And uh, they look pretty cool. And I just wanted to show, you, uh, show it to you guys. And uh, yeah, I guess let's get into the video. now now i did say this is the cleanest oh first of all big thanks to the owner for bringing it out here for me to do a video with it just looks immaculate like from the paint to the interior to the lights basically everything now speaking of the modifications it has this front splitter down here that runs across the entire uh, width of the front bumper everything else is just oem oh except uh, the badge the badge is also blacked out which looks really cool matches well with the grills and uh, the splitter itself and all the other black uh, touches around the car so coming around to the side we have these 19 inch rims which are multi-spoke and uh, bi-color which look absolutely cool one other thing i also noticed is that this is the cleanest or freshest uh, gti badge on the caliper i've ever seen because most of them are grimy and black with oil or brake dust uh, and uh, this is still clean like this car is absolutely immaculate so usual gti badge on the side right there you have this sort of decal or sticker that runs across uh, the side of the car in black reminds me of the club sport uh, the 7 gti club sport becomes it comes because it comes with a similar sticker which says club sport here at the back now the back is my favorite part simply because of the exhaust tips now if you check these are not the standard or oem tips they are upgraded but they sit flush within the body which is really really cool it also has uh, a rear diffuser absolutely amazing this is really cool and also the sound the sounds are really cool we'll get into that in uh, a little bit so you have a gti badge right there in red which is pretty cool uh traditional mark 7 tail lights which are iconic right now i love those they look absolutely cool if we check out the interior i'll just turn off the ignition as you can see the interior is really cool the leather is still fresh it's not shiny or whatever but yeah traditional golf gti interior you have some kind of carbon fiber effect going on down there with uh the center console and all 
uh, it's not really gloss black which I like it's not gonna pick up off fingerprints like you have in the R I think this is really cool the texture around the dash and uh, the center console is really cool I think it also extends on the door one other thing is that in the GTIs and the R's you have this ambient light and strip on the front door which looks cool in the GTI it's red because red is a very GTI themed color and the R it's blue because blue is a very R themed uh, color I think the ambient lighting is also on the door sill which is really really cool as you can see right now because today is overcast and darkish you can clearly see the lighting and all plenty of red stitching everywhere on the steering wheel on the seats as well and also on the gear lever lure this around which is really cool red touches and another red touch on uh, the dials the needles for your speedo and your ref counter other than that oh uh extended paddles these are really nice and they feel really good so they are glued onto uh the should i say the standard pedals actually i think they're screwed in rather than glued because there are some screws back here as you can see but they're just bigger than a, the normal ones which is absolutely cool but yeah i think performance stats so uh engine wise the car is pretty stock which i like uh so highlight you have a two liter turbo four cylinder motor the ea triple eight which is in today's times iconic i think in my opinion at least in my opinion i think this engine is iconic because these things are quite popular right now so it's pushing about 169 kilowatts which is about uh 230 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque the car is front wheel drive mated to a six speed uh dual clutch transmission and the gti is the transmission is six speed and the r at seven speed and also in the normal tsi models like you have with my r line they are also seven speeds all gti's are six speeds not really sure if it has to do with gear ratios they want the car to be configured differently or what i'm not really sure another highlight is that up front you have that mechanical diff which is electronically control uh, controlled so as to say it just makes the car a little bit smoother when it loses traction and uh, it helps the car corner so nicely and all of course being a gti it's lower than the standard cars and all and uh yeah pretty much i think that's it i think now let's take a listen to how it sounds and uh get into the driving bit i think yeah let's do that hey guys you join me inside uh, the mark 7 gti this is my second time driving one of these but the first one I drove was uh, straight piped and it was really, really loud. This one is still civilized, but it still sounds good as well. I'll just try sports and have it in manual. It has a very deep and fruity uh, pop on upshift, of which, as always, it doesn't come across so well on camera. But believe me, it sounds really, really nice. Let's try one more pull. pretty quick uh, also given the fact that uh, last week I drove the Polo GTI both the old one and the new one during the comparison video those are also quick but you can feel a really huge uh, difference with this and for some reason this one feels a little bit more composed uh, than those cars in terms of our uh, ride comfort and the overall feel and handling uh, speaking of handling I think we'll test that out just up ahead because there are a few twists uh, which uh, I think, yeah, will get the car up to its paces uh, really, really well. Wow, it's really, really quick, eh? But the sound doesn't really come across so well inside here. Which is not a problem because by now you would have watched uh, the sound and acceleration video where you get the chance to hear the car from the outside. 
but yeah oh i actually forgot to show you guys something else of which i'll show you later so we have a few curves up here to test that diff Inflection. the thing about that diff is that it really prevents understeer so over corners it just corners so well this thing is phenomenal when it comes to handling the golf gti wow i actually want to go back to that turn because it's just one and now we just have this uh straight line i don't really want to do launch control in these because they just spin like crazy but yeah i'll just do a pull again yeah it's pretty solid wow this thing is immaculate it's really fresh for a 7 gti Wow, the interior is so nice in here, the leather is still fresh, it still feels mechanically sound as well. It's, yeah, it's amazing. So guys, that's pretty much it with this Golf GTI. I just wanted to show you guys around the car because it's absolutely cool. I love doing videos with these uh, VW or Vic cars rather, which is VW Audi uh, group because they are so popular. Everyone loves them. I also love them and I enjoy doing videos with them and driving them and all that jazz. But yeah, really hoping you guys enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, it's quite cloudy. I'm pretty sure you guys can't even see me properly. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, until next time, that's cheers from me.